Hello students, in this tutorial I shall discuss about the Legendre polynomial and how it can be plotted in MATLAB, especially MATLAB, MATLAB mobile. So first of all, let's open the MATLAB mobile app from the, this is the mainly command, command window. Here you can type the commands. So let's start with the function. How can we make the Legendre function? So for that you have to go to files. After that here it will be empty in your case because I have already made that or else you can just make uh, you can make from the commands line here edit you can type edit and you can give a name of the function say lp dot m so extension is dot m in the case of matlab after that you can give enter now as i have already made this function so it will be showing here so you can see the Legendre poly polynomial is given by these equations at the right side of the screen. So that same equation I have typed here. This is the denominator part and this is the overall equation sum equals to this one. Okay. Now for each and every value of, value of n, n will be the order of the polynomial, you will get m. And for each m value, you will get a sum. So after that, you have initiated the sum before the for loop and you have ended with the end operation. And you have started with the function, keyword function you have to use for any new function you want to generate. Now after that, you have to save it on the current folder. You remember that this folder is not your mobile folder it is on the server okay so after that next step is your plotting part so for the plotting part I have already made another function or that function can be typed on the command window also but however here it is already made so we have defined x values from minus 1 to plus 1 with 0 0.01 increment after that this is the initiation of the figure when you type this a figure window will come out now for different values of n here we are defining the values of n 0 to 5 total 6 values will be there we are using subplot subplot how it works when you type subplot it is 2 by 3 matrix means total 3 into 2 6 subplots will be there and suppose 6 subplot n plus 1 if n equals to 0 n plus 1 equals to 1 so out of 6 subplots this will be the first subplot when n equals to 1 this value will be 2 second subplot okay so in this subplot it will plot the value of x in the x-axis and lp nx n value it will take from here and x value already defined here so lp means that function what we have already defined and it is saved in the current folder you can see here lp this is the lp legendary legendary polynomial so it is already defined here so lp how we have to define like this we are defining the function lp inside bracket n x so similarly we have to write there also whenever we want to take that part from the function so we are taking lp n x now n is also already defined for each and every value of n from 0 to 5 and x is already defined so it will plot in this subplot after that for each sub, sub uh, subplot x level the axis level 
and y-axis level it will give and it will give a title now here one thing you have to remember that when we are giving a title inside this we have to give a string or any name so inside inverted comma these are the names or characters now here corresponding each a value of n how it will take suppose value of n is 1 1 is not a character so that's why i have used this function N number to string so it will make value of n to it will make a character now how it will take str cat it will sum all the values here p after that first bracket after that numbers or uh, number to string that means value of n and bracket close after that it will close so it will be the title of the particular plot after that set gcf gcf is the figure we are making the figure white after that we end so let's run this program So we can copy this and we can do the portion here also. So we can paste it here and after that you can give a enter. Some errors are showing output argument P I and maybe others may not assign this anyway. So the problem may be with the this function so let's see pi equals to sum so after that i have to save and let's go there again command window so if we type again let's see what is showing okay so it gives some value as well now here one figure is ready you can see now you can see for each value of n it is showing x axis y axis the polynomial name uh, title of the polynomial so in different different subplots it is plotted okay so our job is done now after that you can save the picture and you can share the picture also in the different different social medias so this part is done suppose if i want more say from 0 to 6 i want then in the in that case it will not work as subplot because for different different values of n total number of values will be 7 now subplot you have to make here automatic support plot you have to make either 2 by 3 3 by 3 1 by 1 like this so better to take here some odd values 0 to 7 and total 8 values so here you can make uh, 2 by 4 4 you can make then only you can plot it so let's try it again yeah figure is ready now you can see total seven seven polynomials seventh order polynomials we have plot already and different different subplots are there okay now suppose you want these plots to be plotted in same figure in that case here subplots function we don't we will not use okay say up to 5 we are taking here one function you can use in scilab we don't need that function but here in matlab we need hold on because for each and value uh, each and every value of n it will plot and again second plot will come but if we don't put this hold on only last plot will be showing so for that case 
it will be difficult to show all the figures together so hold on function is very important here now legion part i have omitted let's see what it shows now one figure we got you can see yeah so all the figures is here x axis y axis and all the polynomials from 0 to 5 6 polynomials we can get now the the question is which line is which polynomial now for that we have to use legion function and we have to use separately now you can see earlier we had used for different different part of the title uh, for different different subplots now similarly we can use here instead of title we can use legend legend but here in this case we have to give separately all the legends p0 comma c okay now you can see for different different colors p1 to p5 it is showing the tutorial about to plotting the legendary polynomial in different different uh, orders subplots as well as in single plot with the matlab mobile thank you so much for watching